everybody. My name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are in the middle of our ancient China unit study for our homeschool lessons and we're going to be using this kit called Discover China Ancient Dig Kit by Explorer where your imagination has no boundaries to dig or excavate three artifacts and then we can wash them up and display them in our homeschool room and I love hands-on projects for our homeschool activities and this one was definitely a winner. So it's going to come with all the tools that you need in order to excavate but midway we're going to use some of our own excavating tools because we have done a number of excavating kits over the last several years in our homeschool and we have amassed a lot of different tools. So it comes with information on the different artifacts that you're going to be excavating. They're all really nicely made reproductions. However, my daughter did accidentally break one of the things that she was excavating, which I fixed, and then she accidentally broke another one while excavating it and then couldn't find it. So we ended up without a coin, but we do have the other two pieces, which are really well made. They're of a harder material so that you don't have to worry about breaking it as you are excavating through this plaster block. So it comes with this plastic tool, which was completely suitable for this project. However, our plaster was a little bit hard. And so pretty early on, we're going to use a little bit of water to kind of spray the area so that it's a little bit easier for her to work through. And the other thing is that our tool was quite short. So as we're kind of digging into the plaster, it's kind of also digging into the palm of our hand and that was uncomfortable after a while. So we're going to use a little bit of water to soften up the plaster and what we didn't realize was that kind of that image on top which we think is actually the terracotta soldier actually isn't. Uh, we couldn't quite figure out in the end whether it was an additional uh, piece that you could excavate and keep or whether it was just supposed to cover the terracotta soldier because as we're excavating it we're going to find that our, our things that we're excavating are below it and that it's actually not very Thick. It seems like it's more of like a plate on top. So you can see that we're adding a little bit of water as we're going through and that does soften up the material quite a bit but it is a really nice balance of like a clay or a plaster so it really does give you that feel that you really are excavating so here's a part where we break that little piece and we're we're kind of disappointed but no worries we can totally fix it and then we're kind of curious that maybe we aren't supposed to be excavating that piece and then as she continues she finds that they're all just kind of breaking apart and it's revealing the terracotta soldier below now we have these hands-on projects for our homeschool main lesson blocks and unit studies and this time around it's my nine-year-old daughter and my 14-year-old son who are doing these projects. I find that they are well made for a variety of ages from really really young children all the way up through high school. It's a lot of fun excavating and then discovering what you get and then learning about it on a, a different level because you've really worked towards getting those little trinkets that are pretty simple but when you have worked for several hours sometimes to excavate it, it makes it that much more precious. Now we've done a number of excavating kits in the past and this one is just right as far as the balance between really working to get your little trinkets and artifacts or specimens rather versus ones that are really fast. Uh, so you have ones that take like hours and days and maybe even weeks and you have ones that take less than an hour and I found this to be a really nice balance in between the two. So she's gotten her terracotta soldier, which I'm glad she took the time to get it out because you can see that there's a base below his feet. And had she worked on it a little bit less and tried to pull it out, she might have broken it in the process. He washes up really well. We're going to put him aside while we look for our other specimens in here. Again, we're using the water to soften the plaster so that we can work around some of these different items that have some intricacies in them, especially this next artifact, which is a ritual wine goblet. It. And so it has these three prongs on the bottom of the cup and it was a little bit challenging to excavate those because you need to really free all three of those prongs before trying to get your artifact out. So the artifacts are made of, uh oh, so my daughter accidentally broke this. It was so sad for her, but I found a way to fix it. 
and uh, and then it's okay in the end. It's probably not going to be perfect, but it's okay in the end. So these materials that they're made from are a harder material, plus they have some additional designs on top. So I'm using my Tombow Mono Adhesive in order to glue that additional prong back on, and you can barely see where I've glued it. It's not going to be super strong, but it's going to be strong enough for her to still play with it and enjoy it as though it wasn't broken at all. We could never find that coin because she thinks she broke broke it in the process, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. We have two kits, and so my son's going to work through his as well. So if you'd like to see pictures of all the different artifacts that come in this kit, you can check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information and where you can find this kit. And that link for that blog post is down in the description box below. Overall, we had a really nice time doing this kit. I found that the artifacts were really well made with a nice, durable material material and the finish on top of it really adds to kind of that ancient feel to the artifacts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget that if you want to check out some of the other projects and tutorials that we're doing for our Ancient China or our Silk Road unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information. That link is down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what projects we're doing and how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine. <laughs>